Wakey, wakey, everyone. It's another fabulous day in Wellington Wells. The weather is only slightly rainy with streaks of lovely sunshine. Hey, everybody, welcome back. Uh, so we've, we've gone to this camp. We uh, found and sabotaged the generator, and then they all freaked out, which all he knew about, all he knew they would do this. Maybe it's part of a bigger plan, but uh, now we need to get to this bell. We did see somebody over there. I'm hoping... I'm hoping... Oh, it's like, he's, we've got to get way back there. Alright, well... Buckle up, because this is going to be interesting. Starring the hilarious Ronald Shiner and Arthur Askey. Don't miss this uproarious comedy. Nothing to see over here. Nothing to see over here. Okay, here's the bridge. Oh, that was kind of a cool way to... F Man, would that not have been an awesome way to get in there? I guess we would have had to have known about the, uh, the hatch, though, right? So... Is this guy... Oh, this guy's disappeared. The dude who is gonna shoot us. Where are these guys? Are they all... He's passed out. The elephant storyteller and his rowdy gang are down for the count. We hear the snoring. This is tempting. We do this quietly now. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. You can keep your glass... You can keep your glasses and your rocks. But I... am out of here. Good chat. If some scientist had told me Percy was actually from Mars, I'm not sure I'd have disbelieved him. <laughs> we were talking about, um... In the last one, we were talking about how... Percy maybe is like maybe he's autistic or I something. Could probably come in the way I got out in the back of the station. Oh uh, yeah, that little bell that we saw. Yeah, okay, that's in like one of these sections, isn't it? Oh, it's on the other side of this. Isn't that convenient? Yeah, it really is. Avoid the bees. Ding ding. Young Artie, come on up. He's got some explaining to do. Meet Ollie up in his tower. Um, okay. I'm just seeing if I really need to have that marker there, but I'll leave it there for now. He's got, like, the coolest contraptions going. All right. Death trap is what this is. Where are the oh, he's still up higher? This guy's crazy. I'm jealous of his like massive fort that he's got here. I think a lot of people probably are. It's not like it's hidden very well. Is 
Ollie, my man. Come on. Fair bit of Christmas there, isn't it? Did you know the power switch was alarmed? They're all quite mad, you know. Sometimes I think they want the Germans to come back. Answer Did me, Ollie. You know the power switch was alarmed. It's a shame of it, you see. They want another go. You bloody knew. How would I have known that? For fuck's sake, Artie. Times are hard, but you and I go back a ways. The tanks were hollow, Ollie. What's that? It's tank armor. The tanks, they're made of papier mache. We could have fought them if they didn't really have tanks. No. I wouldn't have given them Percy and the others. Listen up. I wouldn't have had to lie my way off that train. Oh my God. I lied my way off that train. I wasn't too old to go. You don't forget a thing like that. Oh. Did you hear me? I convinced the Germans they had my birthday wrong. If it was only me, I'd just take my happy pills and sleep through the end of the world. Even more guilt. But I promised. I promised Percy I'd keep him safe while we were in Germany. You promised to help me get to the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> the one in the parade on Apple Home. How would you even get to it? You can't even go to Maidenhall. Don't tell me you're they dicking us over. bridge down last week. No. You're right. You're always right. Ever seen one of these? What does it do? Have at the foggiest. <laughs> but supposing you took this to the bridge to Maidenholm, and supposing you told the bobbies you were there to fix the bridge works, it might uh, enhance your credibility. And from Maidenholm, I can get to Appleholm. And Appleholm has the only bridge out of Wellington Wells. See? Easy peasy lemon uh, squeezy. Easy peasy well, lemon squeezy, all right. See you on the other side. I'd rather doubt that. <laughs> Adieu, Artie. Good luck. I'm not sure who's getting the better end of the deal here, but I certainly feel like it's not us. Okay, so we got lots going on here. Received curious device. Let's check out everything that we have. Um, it seems I lied. Ollie says he didn't know the tanks were fake, but how could he not? Who else knew? Aside from those ridiculous home army lads in their antique battle dress, we could have fought the germs if the tanks were fake. Alright. It would have been pointless and stupid, and they'd have shot us all dead, but it would have felt so much better than doing nothing. Well, I did something, didn't I? I remembered the truth while I was talking to Ollie. I wasn't too old to get on the train. I lied to the Germans that I was too old and convinced them. So this is like, we're gonna slowly have memories come back because we've forgotten for so long. Question, how do you lie to yourself about your own birthday? Because that way it wasn't your fault. Did that constable really believe my little invention about my birth certificate? Or did he decide it wasn't his duty to smoke out one lying kid? Why didn't I just go? I'm going to drive myself mad. Now I'm just going to find Percy and make things right. That part is true. Absolutely true. All he says I can bluff my way past the bobbies of the bridge to Maidenholm. All I need is a crazy device. That sounds quite a bit cleverer than trying to sneak past large trained men with truncheons. Or fighting them. And from there, on to Appleholm and the Britannia Bridge. Okay. We also got some points here. Um, now, there's times we're going to want to be saving them, I think. I'm just not sure when that is. Notice footsteps from farther away. I think this could be really nice. I think it could be really good. The health is pretty solid. Um, but let's go footsteps, just the way that we're playing. I think it's pretty good. Oh, that's it? We're just... That's it? He's locking me out? I saw a bunch of cool gadgets on his table. My man. We got a repair kit recipe. Who knows what this does? Not me. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. So what else is there in this area that we may want to check out? Because this is pretty far. But to be fair, um, we have this cellar. I'm really curious about that. And 
Kensington Gardens. Maybe we could check out what that is. Wonder what other details were misremembering. Surely that's not going to be the only one. Okay. So from here, let's actually go and check out these um these gardens. Just to understand what it is. Oh, this is okay. Yeah, we had a dig spot here. In, Sally and I put the fish in. That's what that is. Perfect. And then if we want we can like go through these housing areas and see if anybody's <laughs> we were witty in those sleeping. Days. It's five AM, you would think, you know. You'd think that they would be, but Ooh. Ooh. I gotta get that call. But we got a bit of a problem here. Jeez. They're cruising. Listen to a personal message for our prudent friend. The fox has gone to bed. The what the hell? Has gone to bed. The fox has gone to bed. We have so many crazy messages. And they all sound like they're like kind of final, you know? The fox has gone to bed. It's like, okay, well. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, we were in here before. Is there any place higher up? They have stuff up here, but I know that if I jump this, they're going to wake up. But, ooh, maybe not. Okay, subtle. Ooh. A man told me his castle. And we knew there was a risk. We knew there was a risk. I don't, I don't even think he's going to see me. Okay, that one maybe is a bit risky. Let's check the bridge. I'm sure it's not going to be so easy as us just showing these guys what's up. So we'll likely encounter something along the way. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Frick, man, they're everywhere. This might have been easier to do during the day. <sighs> Don't look at me. He's looking at me. Let's stay near the edges here. Yeah, it's all empty in this area. Whoa, what the hell? C 
church services. What's this? To whomsoever opens this missive, dear fellow Wellingtonian, for are we not all still fellow citizens of Wellington Wells? Good news, God has not forsaken us. He is still with us, even amidst the rubble of these wastelands. Do not take our present suffering as a sign of his abandonment, for he tested his only son even to his mortal limit. Like Job, or Job, let us never lose faith. For there are those who turn aside from his love, who have given their faith to witchcraft, or the, the most outlandish of vegetable idols, or even demons of unspeakable shape. Do not succumb to these delusions. Where there is faith, there is redemption. And if you have lost hope in this life, then all the world should you prepare yourself, all the more you should prepare yourself for the next. Let us gather Sunday at noon on the bridge to Lud's home and make of ourselves a congregation. So we have a, we have a couple of things that are uh, referencing time and date. Now, we can see, I've, I've turned on the time and date to permanently show in the top right. Okay, daytime. Uh, we can see the day number, but we don't know, like, anything beyond that. I don't know how you feel. Good day. Okay, we got, we're in a whole different section here. White tree Sound park. My favorite tree. We used to sneak out at night and smoke and talk about who <laughs> we were going to be when we grew up. I like that we have these little like to study engineering. And her plan was to be a princess of Mars. <laughs> <gasps> Seems like a pretty good plan. Well, these hands I like that uh, these little, I guess, landmarks. Oh, okay. Thought we were just going to pick that. Little landmarks, for lack of a better term. We have these flashbacks. They all seem to be involving and having Sally. Moves on. Nor all your piety, nor wit shall that must be like loading into a different area or something when that's happening. Stop the movie. Oh, God, please stop it. Oh yeah, we're see, we're definitely gonna spend a lot of time in here. It's a giant area and Toxic fog spotted. When going through it, you'll want to have a gas mask equipped. Oh yeah, look at this. Cool. Looks like we're okay to be around it. At least there are flowers out here. The bobbies have a thirst on them. It's like, what's this stuff back here? Ours not to question why. Ours but to do and die. What the? Who leaves a chest in the chest? If you get a cat out here, you'd better bandage it up. You can get here. an infection just from a scratch. Been a while, hasn't it? Good day, everyone. I saw a ghost in White Tree Park. Oh. But she wouldn't talk to me. Seriously? At least we have our memories. Right. Sally that. Boyle could help me. But she doesn't do house calls out Sally here. Sally Boyle! Place your daily sacrifice here. Do not steal the sacrifices within unless you really want to piss off a witch. Circle of Negate? Accept this, O oh true god of this place. We exist for you. You are the spark that makes us come alive. Take this small gift as our sacrifice to you in thanks. Well, I don't know if we want to pick this. Because surely these guys are going to freak out. Listen to the... Oh, that's creepy. That is creepy. Investigate the curious chest. I just want to see if that, like, draws attention to me or not. They all seem far enough away. This is going to be bad news, bears. Wait a day or two. Okay. That'd be ironic. I have thirst in England. Creepy. I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Okay, let's keep going towards the bridge. This is where things get nutty. Like, we're going to find these random... Events. All the little shoes. Is this a marker? 
Okay, so that's like a quest thing. I guess we'll have to come back, so. But this. Oh, a honeybee nest. Never mind. What do I do with these lily bulbs? Used in crafting velvety emulsion. Okay. Here's a bunch of homes lit up. Do we see footprints anywhere? I'm just like, I'm just taking like literally anything that we can. Oh. Hey. Goodbye. You don't live here. No, I don't, and I am leaving. Good chat. Kind of taking a roundabout way of getting there. Where does the fog come from? That's the answer to everything. So these guys, there's probably going to be something we'll need to figure out to... Oh, she's busy. Alright, you can have it. Oh, look at this, man. Giant cracked heart, that's pretty cool. Talk your way past the bobby. Good day, Constable Wright. Hello. Lovely day for it. Absolutely. Unfortunately, the bridge is not open at this time. It was working just a minute ago. Oh, that is so the door convenient. Is broken again. You have to wait until it's up again. Do you ever let anybody in? Oh yes. There's someone in there now. <laughs> and in the past month. Well, in the past month. Ah! There's a chap in there right now. The hell? You don't really want anyone back from the Garden District, do you? Well, my wastrel friend. No one goes off their joy can actually take joy. I mean, would you? Everybody feels better if that door stays broken. <laughs> of you, course. Us. Everybody. Well, Constable Wright. I suppose now I can tell Central why the bridge keeps breaking down. Central? Ever seen one of these? Oh, bugger me. Y you're not some sort of undercover bridge Oh, inspector. yeah, damn right this I am. This device detects structural irregularities using shortwave radar. But I don't think it will show me the real problem. Will it, Constable Wright? Look, sir, you can fix that door, but them wastrels still ain't gonna take that joy. <laughs> it makes them see eyes everywhere. That's not for you to decide, is it? No, sir. The, the, the maintenance hatch is that way, sir. I, I, I'd be grateful if you forgot this conversation <laughs> ever, ever happened. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, Constable Wright. You remember this face. You see it? Yeah, you do. Oh, bugger. If I really was from Central, I'd have the card, wouldn't I? There is another way, though, isn't there? Yeah, we didn't- we didn't think this plan through. Uh... Hello, everyone. It's nice to see you. Long lineup today. Please take a number and sit down. There's nobody else here. Please take a number and <laughs> sit down. I was gonna take a number anyways. I didn't even think about just approaching her. And now we just wait? I'm gonna sit right in front of her. Celebrations planned for joy anniversary. Began producing in 1953. Number two. Oh! Now serving number two. Wait. Welcome to the Rehabilitation Center. Oh, yeah, Actually, okay. I'm just a sort of undercover bridge inspector from Central. See this device? Uh, it detects structural... Then you should have no trouble passing the test, ah. should you? Please head through the door there and begin your rehabilitation. 
This is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad. Do we have anything else back here? No. What the frick is going on in here? Are you ready to behave? Come take your joy. Here Please we go, baby. Please deposit your personal belongings into this box, retaining only your clothes. Again? Please continue to the decontamination room. <laughs> what the hell is this? I'm taking this food. You can't stop me. Oh. Please discard your clothes. Don't worry, you will be provided with new, proper clothes after decontamination. You okay there, buddy? Now, if I was Percy, I'd just go promenading oh, yeah. about wondering why everyone was staring. Good thing the mirrors are busted. Passport's so important about wearing clothes. <laughs> Please wash all bits. Okay. Spray me down. Feels pretty you good. Have been decontaminated. Oh, thanks. Please proceed to the next room and obtain fresh, new, proper, clean clothes. Oh, I hope she's not watching. I'm <laughs> judging. <laughs> Judge all you want, baby. Fully confident. Clean work is a keen worker. Ooh. Suits provided by a stitch in time. Great name. Don't you look wonderful? Please proceed to the next room. In case there is any residual odor of the garden district on you, please enjoy this refreshing scent of country flowers. Is that <laughs> licorice? <laughs> Why licorice? Get ready for the most important moment in your rehabilitation. Take joy and enter the theater. Your favorite flavor of joy: vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry. Oh, okay. I, I could do with being on joy. I think I'd be fine. Hey, good day. Oh, I must insist that you not traverse the beams of the joy detector without taking your joy, sir. Oh. Why would you let him go? Oh, damn it. They were serious about taking my joy, weren't they? Yeah, we have to. Gotta play along. What is this? What is this statue? Where's the joy at? Search bar? You guys gonna tell me? Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. Oh, here, the mood booth. That's right. <laughs> the mood booth. All right, chocolate vanilla. Oh. Cool. Well, that's the one I would have picked anyway. Joy makes you happy, but take care not to take too much. The joy meter will help you track your joy experimentation. If the joy meter fills, you'll overdose and suffer penalties to combat, crafting, and conformity until the overdose passes. Okay. If it fills, you'll overdose. As you take more joy, you'll notice a memory loss counter around the joy meter. This counter tracks your memory loss from taking joy too many times. When the meter is full, you'll crash and suffer severe penalties. For this reason, you should only, or you should use joy tactically and only when necessary. Happiness is a choice. Oh, it's beautiful. Everything's jolly and grand. Please head into the theater and take a seat. 
Doesn't have anything. Zoomers are showing Uncle Jack only. It is not for other activities. Use the cozy cottages if you must. Look at the arms swinging. It's beautiful. Phoenix Theater. Don't invite Victoria Bing. Okay. Excellent. Sit tight and what? enjoy the show. Oh, I think it's like there should be a newspaper in front of me kind of thing. And now it's time for the Uncle Jack Etiquette Minute. You may be wondering, how can I fit in better in Hamlin Village? Well, it's easy. To get along, go along. If someone tells you it's a lovely day, agree with them. <laughs> because of course, it's always a lovely day in Hamlin Village. So don't be afraid of talking to people first. They'll appreciate it. Now, I'm assuming, of course, that you're decently dressed. Huh? Clothes make the man, eh? Indeed, naked people have almost <laughs> no influence at all in society. Can't imagine. <laughs> and don't dress in rags either, or people might think you're a wastrel. Now, what should you do if people are staring at you? Maybe they're asking you if you remember to take your joy. Who cares? Just pop another and they'll congratulate you and go on about their day. And if things seem to be getting a bit hectic, remember, you can always sit on a bench, relax and open the Hamlin or Quran. Take a load off. No one will bother you when you're sitting on a bench. Unless you've made them very angry. <laughs> or, I don't know, watch Jack Worthing on television. I, he's very good. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was <laughs> actually pretty close. At the end of our time. Tune in tomorrow for another Etiquette Minute with Jack Worthing. That's me. Jack Isn't Worthing. Uncle I never knew Jack his last wonderful. name. Now, please proceed to the third floor where you will be tested on what you've just relearned. Are you serious? Pass the quit. Easy. Sit on the bench, blend in. Don't be an a-hole. No problem. Just a friendly reminder. Uncle Jack don't mention it, but a word to the wise. Proper decent people don't like people what is running, jumping, crouching, spying, sneaking, breaking, or entering. So basically everything I've been doing up to this point. We associate with downers. Avoid them. We shan't have disagreements. Great. No, that'll be just fantastic. Look at... Here's me, uh... Chilling. Look at the pretend little... That's hilarious. Cardboard. It's like a quiz show. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's time to play Oh Behave, the game where you <laughs> show that you're ready to come back to Hamlin Village. I can't and believe it. Behave like a proper, decent citizen. Oh, for heaven's sake, they can't be serious. Are you ready to behave? Now, our five guest questioners are going to ask you one question each. All you have to do is show us that you understand how to behave yourself in Wellington Wells. Cashier. I got this in the bag. What question do you have for our prodigal son or daughter? Final cashier. Glad he's still around. If you want to fit in, you should. A. Say hello to everyone you meet. Like how you do. Absolutely. B, visit people's houses, whether they're there or not. Probably C, not. The eyes. The eyes. Say hello, dude. It's say hello. No, you no, no. Dude, I'm trying to help it you. Never hurts to say hello to people. Player two, I'm afraid. The eyes, the eyes. Look, I got one, you got nothing. Answer. Just listen, I'll help you. Mrs. Browning, what would you like to know? If you realize you're wearing rags, should you A. Pop a joy. B. Put on proper clothes for God's sake. And why not pop a joy? <laughs> what does everything have eyes? The answer is B. The answer is B. Don't do it. Oh, you are doomed. You are doomed. That's right, player one. Just popping a joy is not always enough. We do have standards, you know. Oh, obviously. Look at this guy. He's player no two. standards. I'm afraid everything does not actually have eyes. <laughs> Jack Constable. 
Constable Constable, your question. Right. Well, here's my interrogative. If I see you running, jumping about, or crouching in the shadows, what will I likely do? Beat the piss out of us. Tell you to stop your rotten shenanigans before I smash you in the face. Pretty good Please. option. Run and jump and play myself. See? No. Oh god, the eyes. <laughs> okay. You know what? You're hopeless, buddy. Good luck. See. Yep. He's a plant. This has got to be a- this is- he's the test, I think. Player one. That's exactly right. If you need to get somewhere, don't lurk about like a rotten downer, or run like you're fleeing- She's the NBC peacock. About. No need Pretty much to be bang on replica. In Hamlin Village. Player two, do try to pay attention. We want you to succeed. Mrs. Sackville. Your question, please. If you want to make friends with me, should you A, give me flowers? Sure. A, talk about old times. Maybe? C, stop staring at me. Why is everything staring? I'm gonna go with flowers. It's flowers. Oh, you are. You know what? Okay. I'm not even, I'm not giving any suggestions. Yes. Do give the ladies a lovely bouquet. They do so love flowers. Oh dear, it looks like the eyes have you both, as they say. How disappointing. Remember, doctors are here to help you. If you yeah, you can tell by their nice choice, mask. Doctors will smell it right away, and they'll give you a quick injection to make your day a lovely one. Dr. Byron, what is your question? What happens when you take too much joy? Hey, you can't find your own house. <laughs> Cares? See? Ooh. Please, God, make them stop staring. Actually, I don't know. Can't find your house? Who cares? Probably can't find your house. I don't know. It might be. Who cares? We might fail this one. I'm afraid that was a bit of a trick question. It's true. You can't find your house when you overdose on joy. But we want you to see the broader <laughs> truth, which is who cares? Great. Oh, player two. Today is just not your day, is it? But you can always come back for a seven try. I'll keep trying, little and buddy. That concludes this episode of Oh Behave. I hope that's enough to pass. I hope you made it to the village. If you didn't, remember, we're always happy to give you another shot if you're willing to behave like a decent citizen. Of course we are. Here in Hamlin Village, we're always happy. Well. That's we did it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's time to play. No! Get me out of here! Show that you're ready to come back to Hamlin Village and behave <laughs> like a proper, decent citizen. You gotta be the kidding hell? me. I passed the test. Oh, for heaven's sake, I'm not gonna do this again. How do I get out of here? Are you ready to behave? I'm gonna eat now, my sandwich. Our five guest questioners are going to ask you one question each. All you have to do is show us that you understand oh, how to here we go. yourself in Wellington World. Yeah, okay, good chat. I'm out of here. Mr. Cashier, what question do you have for our prodigal son or daughter? If you want to fit in, you should. A. Say hello to everyone you meet. I'll show you do. B. Visit people's houses, whether they're there or not. C. The eyes. The yeah, eyes. I've, I've had about enough of that quiz. Oh, that's cool. Where is this going to end up? On to the village. Cricket bat. Will it be rainbow colored dust? Uncle Jack, of course. Wait, is this my jam? Is this our place? Oh, yes, it is. That's incredible. Now, where's all the stuff that I turned in, though? Is it just good as gone? Wait. What in the world? Let's put all the crafting stuff in there at least. May I express my delight that you passed the examination, You may. Sir? 
Yes. We've not had as many as we'd hoped, sir. Not as many at all. And yet, they say the unexamined life is not worth living. Well, sir, welcome back. Oh, and in case your rustication has been of long duration, please bear in mind there is now a nocturnal curfew. Best be indoors after nightfall, sir. Lovely. Thank you. Bye now. You still hear the quiz for that guy? Oh, they make me feel great! Oh my god, no! No, did I know someone came through? Oh, they're so pumped to have me here! Lovely day for it. We eat anything worth talking about lately? Just everything. Everything's the best. So from here, I've got to get to St. George's home and then into the parade. Except that I need a letter of transit to get into the parade. Like the one I left on my desk in the parade. <laughs> How do I get a new one? That's a conundrum. Wait. The old government printing office was on Maidenholm. Maybe I can break in and steal some plans. 